What's up everyone, Adam from Cape Crawlers. And today we're taking a look at some MoFo RC motor upgrades for the Axial SCX24. Welcome back to the channel everybody. Have an exciting video for you today. We're gonna put a heart in this beast. Our new competition build is gonna get a new motor today. And I figured it's a great time to take a look at some motor options from MoFo RC. Now we've done motor upgrades and motor comparisons in the past, but now I've got my hands on kind of the full suite of brushed motors for the SCX24 by MoFo RC. So we're gonna take a look at three different motors from MoFo RC today. We're gonna to look at the Buzzsaw, we're gonna look at the Torque Beast in 50 size, and we're gonna look at the Torque Beast in 30 size. So I'm opting to go with the brushed motor, at least initially in my comp build here. So we've got it set up, it's really lightweight. It's got weight distributed right where I want it. It's got this beautiful low center of gravity chassis by MoFo RC. And I find that when I do the brushless conversion, I have to mess all this up. I have to move the battery tray to the back, which skews the weight distribution. So I'm gonna to try to put one of these brushed motors in here, which I think will be a perfect way to bring this beast to life. So this is an exciting video because it's gonna be the first time that I'm gonna run this comp build. And we're gonna check out these three different motors. So this is gonna be a good one. So like I said, we're gonna be looking at the three different motors. Now each one of these motors has a little different character. So the buzzsaw is a fast motor. Now we aren't necessarily going to be using that in the comp build for a crawler, but I do get a lot of questions about how it crawls because we've used it in our monster truck build before. And while we showed the top speed and it was very fast, we never did any crawling comparisons. So we're gonna look at how the buzzsaw motor crawls just for the heck of it just to see how it does. Does it have any slow speed control? Is it a viable crawler motor? I don't know, I haven't tried it on the course. So that's gonna be a fun one. We're gonna try the buzzsaw out. The two torque beasts, now these are really what I'm gonna be looking at for the comp build. The 30 size is a direct replacement for the stock motor. It's a short stubby little thing that you'll see identical size to the stock motor. The 50 series is the next step up, so it's got a longer can, should have more torque and more speed. Those are the two motors that I'm really gonna be looking at for the comp build here. But we're gonna test all three. Figure I'm gonna give you guys a good rounded perspective on all three of these motors so that you can make an informed decision when you're ready to make an upgrade to your motor. So why don't we dive in and take a close look at these motors. We'll do some comparisons to see how they stack up against some of the other competitors out there. And then we'll do some tests. We'll do some speed runs just for the heck of it. And then we're gonna do some crawling. So we'll put them on the course I'm gonna map out a little competition line, I think, so that we can see how each one crawls. So this is gonna be a fun one. So why don't we kick this off, we'll take a close look at these motors. So here's our motors. Let's take a look at these things. This is like an audition for who's gonna be the first motor in the comp crawler. This is exciting. So meet our contestants. So what we've got here, the Torque Beast in 30 size, the Torque Beast in 50 size, and the Buzz Saw. Buzzsaw only comes in 50 size. So we've got speed, we've got torque and speed, and then we've got torque and moderate speed here. So right off the bat, when you look at these motors, you can tell that these are not just your rebranded motors at all. This is just a, a different beast here. Some of the key features, let's look at these things. So you've got this real nice anodized kind of black carbon looking can here on all three of these. They've got a really nice fit and finish to them. The names are etched into the sides of the canister. Very cool. On the back, this is something, small details, but something that I certainly appreciate is that the wires are soldered on at a 90 degree angle. So you don't get them coming off and then have to bend them back. They come straight off at a 90 degree, which is great for tucking these motors into tight places. I really appreciate that. It's a nice little detail. They come with metal pinion gears pressed on. So the 50 size motors come with steel pinion gears already pressed on. You don't have to do it yourself. These things are ready to go. The little torque beast, the 30 series has a brass pinion gear, again, already pressed on. So when you get them out of the package, this is exactly what you get. It's got the metal pinion gears already pressed on. Now these also have a proprietary wiring design on the inside and they are carbon brushed. So they're built for power, they're built for longevity, and they're built to take some abuse. I really appreciate these features. They go a long way for enhancing the build 
both from a reliability and performance standpoint. So these are a great set of motors here. Now let's do some comparisons. Let's take a look at the, we've got the little guy racing parts, little rocket motor. So these two are kind of direct competitors here. You can see they're both same size as the stock motor in the 30 size, it's an 88 turn. Uh, I apologize, I don't remember the, the turn count on these motors. I should have looked that up, but I don't have that offhand. But in any case, we've got an 88 turn in the little rocket, little guy racing parts motor, and then the Torque Beast 30. So both of these are exactly the same size as stock. This is a direct swap for your stock motor. No cutting or trimming of any ancillary parts. You just bolt these things in and go. These both utilize the stock mounting plate. So again, no additional upgrades or changes needed to pop these motors in. But some of the things you can just see, you know, the plastic pinion gears on the little guy racing parts versus the metal. You get the sticker wrapped around the canister on the little guy racing parts. While this, you get the etched metal casing. This is also very comparable to, you know, Endura motors out there have the same kind of wrapped casing design in the plastic pinion gear. Look at the bigger ones here. So let's look at the torque beast. We can compare the torque beast to, I've got an Endura 66 turn here in 50 size. So here's the Endura motor here. So this is a you know, good example. You can see you know, that difference in the wiring coming off the back. Look how you know, nice and tucked around these wires are versus the Enduras that come straight off the back. You know, it's just much, much cleaner in the back, easier to fit in your build and easier to configure. Again, size comparison, virtually identical. One thing about the 50 size Torque Beast motors is that you do not need to change your mounting plate. So the 50 size motors, Buzzsaw and the Torque Beast utilize the same mounting hardware as the stock motor, whereas the Endura and many other 50 size motors require an additional modification to the mounting plate. You have to swap them out for a different mounting plate, but you do not have to do that with the Torque Beast. They are a direct bolt-in. Now the bigger size in a stock SEX24, you will have to trim the battery tray likely to get these longer canisters to fit, but that's it. That's all you'll have to do with the Torque Beast motors. So let's get the buzzsaw again, very similar. And the difference is in the internals and you get the metal gear pressed on as opposed to the plastic with these as well. All right, so that's a good first look. Now for the fun part, let's put these things in the comp build. So this is gonna be the first time it's gonna have a motor. This is very exciting. So I think let's start with the 30 size Torque Beast. So we'll do a speed run, we'll do a crawling run. So we'll do that for all three of the motors. Then we'll come back and bring all our information together and see if we can pick a motor for this bad boy right here. So let's do our first test here. For the speed runs, we're gonna use the JLU. So the JLU, it's heavier for sure. It's got bigger tires on it, but this is just gonna be our benchmark for our speed test. So we've got the Endura Pro 50 high torque motor in this. So that'll give you some perspective. It's pretty quick. It's faster than stock, but not, not by much. So this will kind of give you a decent baseline against a stock rig. So let's do the Torque Beast 30 now. I'm gonna put this in the comp build and then we'll do our tests. All right, speed test number one. First off, I gotta say, this is a proud moment right here because it's actually running First time ever, built from scratch, and it's already operational. So this is a very cool moment for me. But let's get back to the speed here. All right, speed test with the Torque Beast 30 in the comp rig there. Endura Pro 50 in the JLU. Here we go. JLU is significantly faster there. So the little torque beast is no speed demon. We've established that, but that's fine. Let's see how it crawls. We're going to do a little, we'll try to make a little track out of the indoor course here. 
So let's do a kind of a makeshift lap here and just see how this little thing does. A little bit of a dead spot there. I'm kind of stuck. Here we go. Boy, that paint looks good. Man, I love that orange. Thing crawls really good. I'll tell you, the long wheelbase is making me wish I had bigger tires. I'm just getting hung up quite a bit. Oh, I'm just in trouble here. Oh no, not the beautiful new body. Man, look at that thing grip. The Torque Beast is really smooth. I mean, even the 30 size is just so silky smooth. Thing climbs incredibly well. I wonder if we can come down Hell's Gate. No rig has ever done this before. Look, it's awfully planted on the downhill. Look at that. Wow. The stability of this thing is nuts. Yeah, it's a little bit of hesitation there from the motor. When it gets in those tight spots, it gets a little stuck. Man, this thing's impressive. Holy moly. Yeah, see right there, I just had more power to get out of there. Let's call that the finish. Man, that was impressive. Let me give you a close look at the Torque Beast installed here. Also, check out that fuel cell, that 3D printed fuel cell from my boy Nick over Adaptive Designs. That's an awesome little accessory that he made for this thing. So look at that tiny little motor in there. It's hard to believe that tiny little thing makes all that power. But the 30 size fits in there really well. Just a tiny little motor. Doesn't take up any space. Big power out of that thing. All right, let's try its big brother. Let's try the Torque Beast 50 size. Okay, round two. Now we have the Torque Beast in 50 size in the comp rig. Pro 50 motor in the yellow JLU. Let's give it a shot. Pretty close. All right, Torque Beast 50 on the course. I've got big hopes for this one. Silky smooth, lots of power down low.
plenty of torque to get out of those situations, but still nice and slow and controlled. Able to do a more aggressive line up at the top there. I'm impressed with the turning radius of this thing despite the long wheelbase and the wide track. Man, it's smooth. Oh no, wrecked it. I was getting too confident there. Man, this motor's nice. This is the one. Okay, let's take a look at the Torque Beast 50 in there. 50 size is great. Same motor plate. Easy, easy swaps. That black chrome coating, super sharp. It's really nice with this chassis that you don't have to do any modifications to battery trays or anything like that. Just swap it right in and out. I like that one a lot. That was a great one. Last but not least, the mighty buzzsaw in the comp rig. Pro 50 in the JLU. Let's see how these do. Okay. Buzzsaw, significantly faster. Okay, now let's answer the question, how does the buzzsaw motor crawl? We saw that it's fast. Let's see how it does on the course. 2 its credit, it is already much smoother than I would have anticipated. You know what this feels like? It feels like the Pro 50 Endura motor. You know, those higher torque 50 size motors. But it winds out way faster. So it's got that same feel off the bottom. It's surprisingly torquey. I am really surprised at how well it climbs, actually. Look at that. It does really good. And you can throw down if you need to. This motor may be the biggest surprise of them all, I feel, by far, actually. It actually crawls super well. It's a little touchy, but man, it is really nice, actually. So let's take a look at the buzzsaw motor in this thing. See, the 50 size takes up significantly more room, but it fits really nicely in the chassis. 
Again, no modifications or anything needed. Uses the same mount plate that the other one did. Really nice. I am really surprised with the buzzsaw, actually. I thought it would just be a joke for crawling, but I'm impressed. So let's talk about these motors. And that was a great set of tests. I really love all of these motors. Mofo makes great motors. You now we've got the big block in our monster truck gladiator. It's a ton of fun. Each one of these motors is great. Just doing great stuff over there at Mofo. So I really appreciate the opportunity to try out these motors. I don't think it's any surprise that the motor I'm going to pick for the comp build is the Torque Beast 50. I think it's just the right balance of, you got the low end grunt, you've got the mid range power, and it's got plenty of speed for these little things. So for me, it's the right blend of everything that I want in a motor. I was very surprised by the buzzsaw though. And I gotta say it was close between the buzzsaw and the Torque Beast 50. The buzzsaw motor actually crawls really, really well. It's super controlled. It doesn't leap out away from you or it's not twitchy or wild like some of the other high speed motors are that I've I've tested. It just works really good and it's got crazy fast top speed. So if you're looking for a motor that's got way more speed than stock, more than many, many other 50 size motors out there and still can crawl and be a great trail truck, man, the buzzsaw is a great motor. I was so surprised at how awesome and versatile that thing is. So that was very cool. That was a great surprise, something that I wasn't expecting. But anyway, the Torque Beast 50 is the one for me. If the rig was lighter, I think the 30 would be perfect. The 30 has tons of power for that tiny little motor. It's crazy what that thing can do. But I just felt like I needed more grunt off the bottom. And the Torque Beast 50 really solved that issue. Otherwise, if it, was, it wasn't for that, if the build was lighter and the 30 could push it a little more off the bottom, that'd be a great option too. But in the end, it was the 50 size Torque Beast for me. But let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think of the motors? Which one would you pick? Definitely want to hear from you guys. So stay tuned as we continue to build this thing out. The next step is going to be refining the electronics. I am going to go for a big servo. I'm leaning towards the Reefs 179 possibly, but we might do a servo shootout. We'll see. But in any case, I am going to put a, a high-end servo in this. Got to do it. I'm going to do it. So the next video will be kind of refining that and taking this thing to the next level. And then who knows, maybe we'll take it to a comp or a meetup or something. We'll, I don't know, we'll do something to cap off this build because it's going to be great. This thing is a weapon and I'm excited to see it all finished and I'm pumped to share it with you guys. So stay tuned. It's going to be fun. Shout out to Mofo RC again. Thank you, Nick, for hooking us up with these motors to try. I'll leave the links down in the description below for these motors and the other Mofo products that I've got on the build here. Definitely go check them out. As always, I appreciate your time. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned and we'll see you in the next video.